In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a, a vertical bar chart. All right, we're going to start from where we left off at question 14. Um, for each month of the year, calculate the average duration of holidays starting in that month. You may use row 10 to 22 to help you. So you already have the average um, days based on the month here. And then it says save the data model. Again, when it says save the data model, it means save your work. There you go. The next question says, use this data to create a vertical bar chart. So you need to select the month column, hold down control, and select the days column. All right, the reason why I'm holding down control is so that I can skip uh, the M code, which is not necessary. All right, so your month would be the category or x-axis, and your days will be the y-axis or values. All right, so in order to use the values to create a vertical bar chart, Go to insert, all right, and select column chart. A column chart is the same thing as a vertical bar chart, okay? Question 15, label this chart with the title average holiday duration per month. So I'm going to change this. Question 16, make sure that all category axis labels are fully visible and there is no legend. Now, in order to add things to your chart, you need to go to design, all right, and click here, add chart element. This is for um, Microsoft Access 2013. For 2010, it would be around this area, okay? So the question says, make sure that all category axis labels, it means your X and Y axis labels. So, axis titles, horizontal, I'm going to call it... Um, month and then again primary vertical here I'm gonna say days okay now legend okay this chart does not have any legend if it has any legend um, as question 16 states and there is no legend what you need to do is you go to add chart element legend Select none. 